What's up, gamers? It's your boy. Launchpad fourteen twelve here, and I have, without the shadow of a doubt, the best ultimate team I've ever had in the history of my ultimate team journey over the years. Um, this is uh, this is wild, man. I I, I can't even believe I'm even at this point. I usually don't even uh, I usually don't even get a team this good, not on purpose, but I just usually don't have the time. And I guess with the COVID nineteen, I, I, I'll probably play Madden more this year than I've than I've had in any other year ever. Maybe I don't know. Probably with the exception of when I was younger in like 08 and 09, when I was like actually really really good. <laughs> I'm okay now, but I was actually pretty good back then. But at, at any rate, we got we got P Holmes at the helm, man. Um, P Holmes. I had him at first, then I let him go, and I picked up. Uh, I picked up the young boy from the draft, uh, Joe Burrow. I picked him up. He was okay. Um, I, I didn't like how he ran out the pocket, and I felt like he took a little bit too long to throw the ball. And I don't know if you can get gunslinger on him or not. I think you couldn't get gunslinger. But I just, I just felt like Patrick Mahomes was better. But then I went for him that had RG3. And RG3 was good, but for 1.6 mil, he practically plays – just like Mahomes a little bit, he's a little bit quicker out of the pocket, but that that's really only it. But as far as just throwing the ball, especially throwing to the point where the receiver can catch it in stride and run for a touchdown, Mahomes has been the best that I've I've seen do it um, this year. So this is most likely going to be my end game quarterback. This this is probably end game team right here. And I mean this team, this whole team's probably end game. I can't even uh, I, I, unless I just felt like you know. Just switching it out sometimes, you know, switching out players to try other players to test other players out. This is pretty much pretty much going to be in game. Okay, we got Barry Sanders. He's an absolute monster, man. Ninety eight speed, you know, ninety seven agility. He's an absolute beast. He's probably out of the four. I got four running backs now. Out of the four running backs that I have, he's probably the scariest as far as when I play with him. But as far as who I've gone up against between him, Dickerson, and Walter. I, I feel like I, I feel like Dickerson and Walter have gave me the most havoc, but Barry Sanders have get has given me a lot of havoc as well. <laughs> but as far as when I play with them, I play I don't necessarily have Walter Payton, but I have Eric Dickerson. I play with Barry Sanders the best. That's who I play with the best. Um So we got Barry. We got Eric Dickerson. This guy's an, an absolute monster, man. He's an absolute beast. Um, 98 speed, 97 acceleration, <laughs> 74 catch. I didn't even realize his catch is that high. 97 carry, which is extremely important. He is. I definitely use him as kind of my bruiser. He's my number one bruising back, even though I do got Aaron Jones, and I'm going to tell you why I have Aaron Jones in a second. But... He's pretty much my bruiser. I usually use him in the eye formation. I put uh, the boy at, at tight end. We'll talk about that later. But I put him in the eye formation. He's the bruiser. He does pretty well. He's a, he feels a little slow. But he's given me so much havoc over this whole course of this year. That's why he's on the team. Because I'm like, this guy has given me so much problems. If you can't beat him, sometimes you just got to join him. <laughs> But, I, like I said, for me, he just hasn't played as crazy, but I, I, I'm i still kind of just starting to play with him. I've only played, had him for like a week and a half, so I guess you got to give me a little time. Saquon Barkley is here because he has 83 catch. And not only 83 catch, but he's also very fast after he catches the ball. This card is an absolute monster. I've caused a lot of havoc with this card. If Barry Sanders is number one as far as havoc causing, as far as me using him, Saquon Barkley is without the shadow of a doubt number two. You can even cause you could even argue that he's a one B. It's a one A and up one B situation. If you look at my highlights, I, I, I've shown you guys plenty of, high, plenty of highlights. And you like, and if you told me, I don't know LP. I think Barkley has caused the most havoc between the two running backs. I will not have an argument with you. Now I do have Aaron Jones, and I'm going to explain why I have Aaron Jones here. He doesn't get a lot of burn, but he does have 99 carry. And 
he's kind of fast and he's kind of savvy. He's just savvy enough to to do what I need him to do whenever I use him. Um, if I'm if I'm in a game where I'm running heavy, because it's harder to pass in, in Ultimate Team now because everybody's teams is so souped up. But if I'm in a situation where I'm running heavy, 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 I, I'll plug him in, give the other guys a little bit of a break, and I can plug him in, and I and I can know. That I don't have to really worry about him fumbling with that 99 carry. He only fumbled for me once. It shocked me. Because when he fumbled, it was his first carry of the game. And I was like, oh, he can fumble. But <laughs> I've, over the course of the last two months, I've used him quite often. And he, he only fumbled at one time. So I'll take it. At fullback, we have... We got the boy Christian Okoye. Why not, man? Who doesn't have this guy at fullback? Um, I had to join the party with this. I was going to power him up, but I, I don't necessarily need him to be powered up, to be honest. No, he, he he got 97 carry. He got 98 impact block. 90 run block. 94 lead block. That's all I need him for. I don't need him to catch no passes. Just block, brother. And occasionally, every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll give him the pill for maybe a goal line touchdown or something like that, but and he got 93 speed, which is wild. Um, what is his truck? I wonder what his truck is. I don't think I even looked at that. 94 awareness, which is really, really good. 66 catch. I don't really care about him catching, though. I want to see the trucking real quick. Ooh, 98 trucking. It's kind of weird because when, I, when you know how people kick to the fullback on kickoff? For some reason on kickoff, he doesn't he doesn't seem to truck that much. But, but yeah, that's that's the that's the that's the quarterback, running backs, and uh, my fullback explained. Okay, let's go to the wide receivers. I don't know what it is. You know, I don't really want to go off the deep end. I can't get that song out of my head. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> but Herman Moore, he catches everything, it seems like. I don't know if it's because of the 99 catching traffic. I don't know if it's because I got him as one of my X factors. It's so important that my, my wide receivers catch in traffic. I cannot explain how important that is. Because these guys get tagged. And because of the way the game is played, him and Calvin, they can catch passes sometimes over two and three people that they probably shouldn't catch. But it's just how the game is. It is what it is. I don't do it often. <laughs> but when, when I need to, I'll try it. You know, you know, some, you got to say sometimes the pressure's coming quick. You know, sometimes the coverage is great, and you just got to gotta throw up a prayer. And, you know, they these guys have come down with it, especially Calvin. He comes down with the prayers the most. But Herman Moore is as, as far as, like, as far as running a route and catching it with somebody on him, I don't think there's anybody better, man, to be honest. As far as, as, far as who I've played with. I haven't played with every receiver, but as far as I play, I did have Randy Moore, so I let him go because I let him go because I didn't feel like he didn't necessarily stand out, you know, with the exception of his ability to catch that 55-yard bomb. And when people, when I play, when people play with me when they have Randy Moss, they really just do a bunch of out routes, you know, and I'm just like, well, I can do that with the other receivers. Because I actually put the 99 power-up pass on. But I took it off because I'm like, man, I got A.J. Green, I got, I got Torrey Holt, I got Herman Moore, and I got... The boy Calvin Johnson, I really don't need him. Let me abuse that power of pass to somebody else. Like AJ Green, he's an absolute monster. He catches everything. 99 catching traffic. He don't drop nothing. He got 99 spec catch, 99 jump. He's arguably my best receiver. He doesn't really drop anything, to be honest with you. I mean, I mean they all drop passes every now and then, but he he's a beast, man. Really good route runner. Um I'm I'm shocked he's not a 99, to be honest. <laughs> Calvin Johnson. Man, this dude, man, this dude is everything, bro. He he's like he's he's really like my go-to receiver to be honest. When I need like a, a huge play, you guys saw that one game when he caught it with three people for the game winning touchdown at the end. I was wild, man. <laughs> the, the game is if you want to see it, the game is is there, man. Check it out if you want to go see it. Um, absolute beast, man. I can't say enough about those three receivers, man. I, I'm, I'm very comfortable with them as my receivers. Torrey Holt doesn't get a lot of burn because he has 93 catching traffic. He does have the 99 speed, 99 catching, 99 short route. I mean, I, I might try to find ways to get him in the game. I don't know. Um, 
It's just the other receivers are better. Even though even though he it says ninety three catch of traffic, it feels like a ninety six. But the other receivers they just play a little bit better, man. I mean uh maybe I'll plug him in somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna I don't know how I'm gonna let's say plug him in the game, but and that Five, we got Devin Hester, man. 99 speed. He he catches no balls. He's he's strictly for punt returns. I had Cordell Patterson, who was an absolute monster at kickoff returns, but I was able to get the Devin Hester for 920, powered him up, and he's a, he's a beast, man. He's a beast. Um, even though I've been, I've been rocking with Cordell Patterson for a while, but it just seems I I, I mean because the thing of it is Cordell Patterson is a beast. So, uh, <laughs> it might be a little weird for me to say Cordell Patterson is better. i just been playing with Cordell Patterson longer, so I'm a little bit more used to him. But Devin Hester definitely feels better, you know, when you run with him. I'm not even going to lie. At tight end, let's see what we got here, man. Dang, that deep end song is still in my head. My goodness, man. All right, at tight end, we got Tony G, man. He's definitely my catching tight end, without question. Don't get me wrong, Grunk, Grunk gets busy. Look at Dan Deardorff at tight end. <laughs> 99 at tight end, for real, though. But uh, that's probably for blocking purposes. But at any rate, um, Tony G, he, gets, he catches everything. 99 catches traffic. 92 speed, which is really, really good. I need my tight ends to be a little bit a little bit fast. And he's, he's got the 92 speed, man. I mean, I, I, I can't complain. He does. He's And he's smart. Him and him and Rob Gronkowski are very, they're the two smartest tight ends I've played with this year. When they catch the ball, they don't, they don't necessarily, when they run a route, they don't run routes for lesser yards. Some tight ends run right with routes for lesser yards, meaning well, but they run for lesser yards. These two guys don't do that. They run to push the ball forward. And if they can get a first down, they're going to get that first down without me having to force it. Now, they'll, they'll like, do it themselves. That's the, they'll, stick the, <laughs> they'll stick the football out themselves, man. These are two very highly um, intelligent cards, and I, I love these cards. And my... Uh, my boy, and they both get time. They both get time. They both get love. They both get catches. You guys will see that. The thing about Rob Gronkowski that's better than Tony G, though, he has 83 run block. So in the I formation and the strong formation, I put him. I start him and I bench Tony in those formations, and I get beautiful runs on the right hand side because of it. I mean, you you can tell. You'll see in some videos um later on. I got some uh I got some weekend league coming up, and I got um. And I got some ultimate team matches you guys will see that um that that blocking scheme is wild. And speaking of the blocking scheme, man, look at these guys here, man. Joe Thomas, Kevin Mawai, Dan Deardorff, David Castro, and Logan Makins, man. They all are nice, man. The offensive line is sick. Um Joe Thomas is a beast. He usually has problems against LT though, but who wouldn't? So I guess he can't. He LT is the only one that gives him problems. <laughs> LT is a, not even uh not even the boy gives him that much problems. The boy um I can't think of his name. He's a clowny. Yeah, clowny doesn't really give him that many problems. But LT he he can't hold LT for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, who, who could though? You know, I just gotta pass it a little faster. But Kevin Mawai got got my ninety nine power up pass, man. Um, I had a ninety seven card, but he just he just kept getting beat, man. He kept getting beat by Sap. Kept getting beat by by Randall. I say, I see. You know what? Let me just put the power pass on him. He could, but because because Kevin Mawai ninety nine is one point five mil. I'm not paying that much for a center. But as far as the completion of my team, it made the most sense to put my power up pass there. And look at my and look at my offensive line. Beautiful. Look at this whole team. Beautiful. Ninety eight over overall squad. Ninety eight overall offense. Man, we cooking with gas, baby. Let's go to the defense, man. We looking good, man. Looking good, Billy Ray. <laughs> At the top, we got their boy Luke. Not not going off the deep end, but we got Luke Keekley, man. <laughs> My goodness, man. We got the boy 92 speed, 95 acceleration. The strength went down because of Sprinter, but it's all good. I don't necessarily need him to be super strong. I just need him to catch the ball and do what he do with a 92 speed, 95 acceleration, 99 tackle, 99 play rack, 86 zone, 95 hit power. He's the epitome of the perfect middle linebacker for me. I did have the boy Isaiah Simmons at middle linebacker, but it took it took away his um his like lurker abilities and all that. Well, not the lurker, but the uh, the chemistries and all that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just switch him back to the right, and uh, I'm gonna explain that. 
in a second. But Luke Kuechly is the is the epitome. Nine nine awareness. He he has a good hit stick. He'll make you fumble. He does everything. He's probably the most versatile player on my defense. While the shovel, if a deception of the fact that he can't necessarily put, get on the line, the defensive line, he's about the shadow of the doubt. My most well-rounded player on defense. We got C.J. Mosley, Mosley to back him up because C.J. Mosley, he's 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 what's he's a like, eighty-nine speed is not bad, but ninety-nine play wreck. But he's another good coverage. Um, what's his catch? Seventy-seven. That seventy-seven catching is beautiful. Another good um, coverage linebacker, and that's what I need. Um, that's what I want going up against these guys. I had to go back to my formula. I did switch it to where I had a bunch of blitzers and, and pass rushers, but it, it just in my soul. I got to do what I do, man. This is who I am as a Madden player. I got to do what I do. I got to pick coverage people. And this boy right here, he's just an absolute beast. I, I just got him. I just, I just put him anywhere. I'm just like, man, just do what, do whatever you're going to do. He's like the Dennis Robin of my team. He just, he'll just come out of nowhere and make a play. And, he'll just, and I'll just be like, what in the world? Like, where he come from? I, yo, this kid is, he's the, he's the wild cat on my team, without question. He's the wildest one, bro. I don't know what he's going to do. He, he's wild. I like him, though. <laughs> this boy right here is a beast, man. Goodness gracious, man. If you look at some of his stats, you probably think it like, man, is this car really as good as people say it is? Yes, he is. At 6'4", with 95 speed, 95 acceleration, I have a game. I got a find. I got so many games on my file. I have a game on my file where he gets four interceptions, and he is definitely the card, um, one of my X factors, man. When he gets zone hawk, he's an absolute monster. Don't throw his way. But he's a beast, man. Um, ninety, Like I said, 95 speed, 95 or so. What, what is his catch? A 79 catch. Whoo, that is beautiful. Even though he doesn't necessarily have the best awareness like everybody else. Now, he's a young he's a young boy, but that's why I use him. I use him the most more than, more than everybody. He is, well, question, my user. Between him, between him, Keekly, and Taylor Mayer, they are my users. And I got Fred Warner, you know, for kickoff and stuff like that. He, he's a beast. I don't need to power him up or nothing like that. For Fred, he just do what he do. Kevin Green, man. Whoo! It's this guy here, man. 91 speed, 91 celebration, 96 strength. I put the um the bruiser on him because I do need his strength to be up as much as possible. 96 play rec, 94 tackle. He is a nightmare coming off the edge. He is my edge rusher. I do got I do got some edge rush now. I got a little edge rush in me now. You know what I mean? Don't don't, don't get it twisted. I ain't say I ain't, you know, don't have not all, but most of my linebackers got to be covered, you know, what I mean? because of the way I, I play, you know, it's just how I am, who I am. But he's a beast, man. I, 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 he does everything I need him to do. He rushes the quarterback. He's a problem. He's good at getting to that running back when they run on the on the uh, left side, you know. And people do that stretch play. He'll be there. But there's just some runs that it don't matter how great your team is, the, the the AI just can't guard it. It is what it is. But when you just do the runs that, that are guardable, you don't want to run this guy's way. Don't go off the deep end. Run the other. Well, I don't know what to tell you to run. <laughs> because Simmons will get you to. <laughs> and then I got uh, Clowney on the on the on the block. So I don't know what to tell you to run. But I don't know, man. Just uh, just just have a good running back. At this point, um, you should have good running backs and good offensive lines anyway to balance everything out. And I got Von Miller there for kickoff return. And sometimes he gets burned, you know, like when it, he gets time when I uh when I do like other like 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 kind of like four four defenses and stuff like that. But he's just not Kevin Green, man. <laughs> Kevin Green is just he's crazy with it, bro. All right, at um at free safety, I actually had to power up pass on him, but then I seen his car was only like two hundred k. So I was like, you know what? Let me just buy. It. I'll just buy it and I'll power him up. And look at look at how beautiful it is. Ninety seven speed, ninety nine acceleration, ninety eight tackle, ninety eight play rec, ninety nine zone, which is amazing. You could clearly see it when he plays. Ninety three man coverage. This guy's a beast. You don't want no problems with him. He, you know, how some people you just want to they, 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 Some people need a lot of leave it. Leave him alone. They need a lot of leave alone. Like Eddie Griffith's dancing. <laughs> He's that guy. You don't want no problems with this guy. And Mink is his pivotal because when I go into quarters, he is the top free safety. He's an absolute beast. His awareness is extremely high. 
I love this car. I didn't want to let him go, but Ronnie Lott, he's a 49er, and he's just such a beast. I had to put him on the squad. Here we go. This is the golden ticket I got. The free golden ticket. We all get one free one. This is the one I got. I haven't powered him up yet. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put abilities on him, lurker and all that. Guys, he already know I'm going he already know. <laughs> Fat Dollars said I had to get somebody on defense. He was definitely right, man. Shout out to Fat Dollars, man. That's my boy, man. He been looking out for me, man. Um, he been looking out for real seriously, man. Shout out to him, man. He giving me all kinds of tips to, to make my channel better and stuff. Um, I can't I can't appreciate him no more than, than what I than what I am. He doesn't know me from a can of paint as far as I've never seen him personally. But for him to, to, to give a guy like me a helping hand. Cause think of it is you you never know. You might have there might be a matter convention or something. You know, you don't know what could pop by might say anything what will happen, but trust me, I'm a guy you want on your team on there on them. I'm a guy you want back you. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna say that. And man, I I I appreciate this guy, man, Fat Dollars for everything he's done. But yeah, he told me to get he told me to get a defense player. I was getting ready to get Julio about it. I thought about what he said. I said, you know what? Let me get this Taylor Mays. This guy will make my team complete. And I got him, man. 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 96 tackle. This is without him being power. I haven't, I haven't um, put any abilities on him yet. You can't power him up because he's 99 gold ticket. But I haven't put any abilities on him yet. But when I put the abilities on him, you already know what it is, man. It's going to be crazy. I got Jamal Adams behind him, who, I, who I, I really think is the best strong safety in the game. If you don't, if you take away Taylor Mays, to me, Jamal Adams is the best strong safety in the game. He's the best well rounded. Great pursuit. Great, he get picked you off. I didn't even want to. I, like he was the reason why I almost didn't get Taylor Mays, but I think Taylor Mays is a little bit better. Even though I haven't played with him yet, we all gonna get some game playing with him. So I think he's a little bit better. I think he's gonna do as a tad bit better. He's gonna be great with those guys that like to uh to run a lot. Let's go to the defensive line. Woo! Look at this squad. I put the boy Clowney. On the right end, I, I I just doing I was doing a test run because I actually had him there and I had LT on the line. I got rid of LT because he's not a coverage linebacker. Even though I love LT, he, he has my respect wholeheartedly. But he's not a coverage linebacker, and Isaiah Simmons is just better in coverage. He's six five with ninety five speed. What are you gonna do, man? And then then you got you got Clowney who's a beast on the right side. He gets in there, man. He's a beast on the defensive end. They give you the option of, uh, like, what the second position you can get in. You can get in with the David on Clowney. You guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm so hyped about the team that I can't even talk straight. But he's a beast. He's a beast, man, and on this defensive line. I'm shocked he's not 99 on the defensive line, but he's a monster, man. He gets in there, man. Me and Joe Green get a cover in the middle. Him and Warren Sapp, they take care of the middle, man. Um. I was getting ready to get rid of Sap and get and get Randall just to try him out, but man, Sap has been making some plays lately. Right when I said I was gonna get rid of him, he starts making plays. He, he's like when it comes to a play in the backfield, he's usually there more than anybody. He might not get the tackle, but he's around the circumference of the play. He got somebody's leg or toe or finger or something, you know what I mean? And this guy right here, man, probably one of the most slept on defensive linemen in the game, man. A lot of people don't got him on the, on their team. This dude is an absolute monster at six seven. What I do with him, I usually put him on the quarterback spy. If I got if someone got a fast um somebody got a fast quarterback, he gets beat every once in a while. I mean like somebody like Lamar Jackson to get him every once in a while. You know, he didn't want to juke and get past him, but it's so rare. But he's so good at the spy. He chases down everybody. He can catch. Like, if, if, like let's say, like, he's on spy and you try to throw, like, a, a, a slant route and you're running, like, a certain way. Peppers, he'll follow you. He's 6'7 with that frame. He'll pick you off. I'm going to show you gameplay of it. He will pick you off. He's an absolute beast. He can tackle. He does everything pretty much. He's probably my most second. If Keegley is my first versatile player on my team, Peppers is second without the shadow of a doubt. Because sometimes... He'll drop back in his own coverage and be an absolute monster <laughs> sometime. So that's the defensive line. And right, let's go to the corners. I know I'm taking up a lot of you guys' time, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. We got Champ Bailey. I got him at the one over Dion because um, 
it seems like he plays that left side a little bit better. And Dion, Dion is the gangster on my team, bro. Seriously, I don't know what it is. I know his tackle is not that high. I don't know what his tackle is, but Dion, like when when someone his tackle is sixty, but it feels like ninety. Like when whenever there's a guy that we can't take down, it's like an absolute problem. Dion tackles him. I'm like, oh okay. I'm like, <laughs> and he hit sticks him. He just just tell he hit sticks him, and he do, and he normally knocks the guy down. Dion Sanders, can you? I just don't know about this game sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes the attributes matter. I guess they do. I don't know. I guess it depends on what's going on. But this car is an absolute beast. You can't throw his way. He'll pick you off, man. I got him for Moss. People usually use Moss on the right hand side, so I put him on the right hand side, and he plays it. He plays the right hand side extremely well, better than Pat Peterson did. I'm not really sure why Patrick Peterson wasn't that good on the right hand side for some reason. I can't explain it because he's a, really supposed to be a number one. I don't know. But he's pretty good in, um, in the, at the three spot, though. I got him at the three. He's really, really good at the three, especially in the zone. So he's going to stay there. And we got Dion and Champ on the, on the outside. We got Kendall at five. And we got Lattimore at four. Um, I'm not saying they don't matter. But they're usually, they're usually pretty good in the zone covers and the quarters. But if, if I'm not in quarters, they don't really see the field. So it, it, it's all good. But they, they still make plays every now and then, which is good. This is my my punter, kicker, um, long snapper. Of course, who else I would, would I put that long snap beside? Joe Thomas, uh, maybe Kevin Mawai, I don't know. Um, Devin Hester, kickoff return, punt return, of course. You already know. Specialist, I got Saquon Barkley at the third running back because he's the best catcher on the team. My power running back is Eric Dixon. He's the best at power. I got Calvin Johnson in the slot because he's an absolute monster in the slot. He's monster everywhere, but I got two really good guys on the outside. I put him in the slot. He usually has a dis disadvantage over those corners because he's so much bigger than them. And, you know, we get the left end. We got this situation here right outside linebacker, Clowney. Uh, well, right in, yeah, at the right end, yeah. So, yeah, this is the squad, man. This is the squad, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... If you stick with me this long, thank you so much. Um, I was really excited to do this video, and I, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I waited on it because um, I wanted to make sure I, I got everybody, and I just did the, the soul challenges to get to get Taylor Mays. So this is everybody on the team. This is your boy Launchpad fourteen twelve. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm out.